Let's still sing this song. Call the ancient words. Hello, ancient words. Appreciate the Lord of Lord. We can do it better. As we appreciate the Lord of Lord. Amen and amen and amen. Glory to God. How was your week? I know you had a lovely week. To some of you, you had an awesome week. And even to some of you, you had a stressful overwhelming week and that is why we have gathered here that the Lord may minister to us and I know even before even the, the, the service end you will never be the same again the Lord will minister to you just believe it just trust God in the name of Jesus amen and amen we want to thank God for this wonderful team service was and the worship was so warm and awesome and wonderful may the Lord bless you we highly honor you and appreciate you God bless you Minister Kaburu Mungu wa bariki sana even as you sit down Amen Would you please open with me Joshua chapter 5 from verse 6 through 9 
I know you have been going through the book of Joshua from chapter 1. The Bible says, Joshua 5 from verse 6. The Israelites had moved about in the wilderness 40 years until all the men who were of military age when they left Egypt had died. Since they had not obeyed the Lord. That is very key. All these people left Egypt. And the Bible says. They all died in the wilderness. Because they did not obey God. For the Lord had sworn to them that they would not see the land he had solemnly promised their ancestors to give us. A land flowing with milk and honey. Verse 7. So he raised up their sons in their place and these were the ones Joshua circumcised. These were still uncircumcised because they had not been circumcised on their way. Verse 8. And after the whole nation had been circumcised, they remained where they were in the camp until they were healed. It's good to mark that. Until they were healed. Then the Lord said to Joshua. Today. I have rolled away. The reproach of Egypt from you. So the place has been called Gilgal. To this very day. The second reading comes from Romans 15 and verse 4. The Bible says. For everything that was written in the past. Was, was written to teach us. So that through the endurance taught in the scriptures. And encouragement they provide. We may have hope. Lord my God minister to us as we hear your word in Jesus name Amen you may sit down and wait to hear from the Lord our theme for 2024 is building on a firm foundation and we have said that that foundation is Jesus Christ currently we are going through a sub theme sub theme for the month of January, February and March and that sub theme is building strong foundations. We build foundation, strong foundation with God, with our families, and also with one another. And therefore, today's topic, or today's message, is spiritual lessons from Gilgar experience. Spiritual lessons from the Gilgal experience. Amen. Amen. As we had seen earlier, Gilgal is a place where Joshua and the Israelite landed after they crossed the flooded river Jordan. Jordan. And they went now to the promised land. We also learned at Gilgal is where Joshua circumcised the men of Israel who were not circumcised. And it became a place of consecration and transformation. And Gilgal, I want to tell us today, it reminds us about Jesus Christ, who was crucified at Golgotha, shed his blood, died and rose again, 
through Jesus Christ kupitia Yesu Christ our sins and also our shames is rolled away ai dhambi zetu na pia aibu zetu zikabikirishwa zikaolewa the way god rolled away the, 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 the sins of the children of israel vile mungu aliondoa dhambi za wana wa israel raise the name of the living god amen hallelujah hallelujah And that is why the Bible says in Romans 15 and verse 4 that everything that was written in the Old Testament it was written to teach us Amen. Amen. It was also written to encourage us and also to give us hope. So when we read the Old Testament it is a picture of what is to come. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Also the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 11 and 12 that what happened in the old testament were written for our examples these things happened to them as examples and were written down as warning for us so examples and also warning So there are things that they did. And we are not supposed to do to do them. There are areas they were encouraged. And therefore through the word of God. We will be encouraged today in Jesus name. Tell your neighbor, tell your brother, you will be encouraged today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. So the first spiritual lesson from the uh, from the gilgal experience is that every believer must overcome the spirit of unbelief can i hear amen we must overcome you must overcome the spirit of unbelief and believe kutoamini is believing ni kuamini and focusing na kutazamia on something other kwa mambo than what god has said mengine ila isipo kwa yale yesu mungu amesema you know there are times we focus on other situation than what god has said kuliko kutazama kile mungu amesema let us look at peter tuangalie petero They were stranded because they were tossed the whole night. And they were almost perishing. There was storm in the sea. But 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 uh, Peter saw Jesus. And Jesus told him. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Peter. Petero come to where i am kuja manlipo amen amen and therefore peter took a step of faith kwa hivyo petero akachukua hatua ya imani the way we also take a step of faith vile watu tunachukua hatua ya imani when we want to believe god for something na kuamini mungu kwa jambo praise the name of the living god amen. you need a job unahitaji kazi you apply unapaya mambo you go zaku. for interview unaenda mazi interview don't get discouraged in between usishushike moyo hapo katikati because your job is coming sababu kazi yako inakuja praise the name of the living god amen hallelujah, hallelujah. so peter walked on the storms petero akatembea kwa garika because his focus was on jesus maana mtazamo wake ulikuwa kwa yesu but when jesus was here wakati yesu alikuwa hapa and peter had longed a walked a long distance na petero alikuwa ametembea kwa instead of focusing to Jesus he started focusing on the storms and immediately he started to sing and that is what happened in our lives when challenging when challenging things comes in our lives when sometimes we, you know we sometimes we go through discouraging things sometimes we want to give up But I want to tell us. Don't give up my brother. Don't give up my my sister. When God says, the word of God says, I'll give you power and authority to create wealth. Believe it. Amen. In Jesus name. When the Lord says, I'll give you a better house. A better car. When a God says, I'll 
take you to a better place. Just keep on believing. When you are sick, and the Bible says, by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. Believe God. Don't believe otherwise. Praise the name of the living God, church. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Joshua chapter 6 and chapter 5 and verse 6. The Israelites had moved about in the wilderness. 40 years. Until all the men who were of military age. When they left Egypt. Had died. Since they had not obeyed the Lord. These were children of Israel. They were crying to God. Jehovah. Jehovah we are suffering in Egypt. We don't know what to do. And the Lord sent his servant Moses. And he said. The Lord has sent me. To come and take you from Egypt. So that you can go to Canaan land. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of the living God. Amen. They said, yes, man of God. We believe you. So they started moving. But when they reached the Red Sea, they started doubting. Even before they crossed, they started murmuring. Hallelujah. And after that, the Bible tells me, they crossed the Red Sea. After God made a way where there is no way. They forgot about God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And in the wilderness. Babies were born. Hallelujah. 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 And we thank God today we have a baby. Let's appreciate Mary. Hallelujah. We have a new member in the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mary and uh, your husband. God bless you mightly. Amen. Hallelujah. So the babies were born. And the babies started to grow. And in the process of growing, these guys continue to, to, you know, to, to doubt God. And the Bible tells me, everybody, the young people, who came from Egypt they all died in the wilderness because of the spirit of unbelief hallelujah hallelujah and God waited. It took 40 years. A journey that would have taken only a few days. Less than one month. You know there are times people struggle. You go through a long way. Just because of doubting God. Let it not happen in our lives. Let it not happen in this church. In the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So they did not arrive in the, in, in the Canaan land. Jesus Christ said in Matthew 7 21. Not everyone who says Lord Lord. Shall enter into the kingdom of God. But, ev but he who does. The will of my father. So you must believe. And be a doer of the word. Don't be like the children of Israel. Who wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Until all of them perished. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So my dear brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter. How many challenges that you are going through. It doesn't matter. How hopeless the situation is. Because challenges will come. But you are not alone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So my prayer is. Don't, uh, don't allow. The spirit. Spirit of unbelief Roho ya take root in your heart. Iwe na mizizi moyoni mwako. I repeat again. Narudia tena. Church. Kanisa. Brothers and sisters, don't allow Usikubali. the sin of unbelief ya take root in your heart. Iwe na mizizi moyoni mwako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the, the sin of unbelief breathe spirit of disobedience and can make one 
Na mtu wander in the wilderness atangatange jangwani for 40 years. Kwa miaka 40. It can also make one nezafanya pia mtu perish in the wilderness. Angamie jangwani. Wilderness jangwa is a symbol of this world. Ni ishara ya ulimwengu huu. Are we together? Kwa pamoja. Is a symbol of this world. Ni ishara ya ulimwengu huu. There are challenges. Kwa changamoto. But I thank God. Nashukuru Mungu. That through his grace. Kupitia neema yake. He will help you. He will help us. Anatusaidia. Amen. Amen. Hebrews 4:11 says. Waibrania let us therefore make every effort to enter that rest so that no one will perish by following their examples of disobedience. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know they the Bible is telling us not to follow examples of Israelites. What happened to them was a warning. Warning us not to have a spirit of unbelief. And therefore my brother and my sister and even for those who are watching online and believe is a spirit that should be eradicated by all means. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Focus on God. Focus on Jesus. Because he is our hope. Challenges may be there. But I thank God. The Lord will always be with us. Who will take us of those challenges. And if you want to experience the move of God in your life. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Don't allow Usikubali. the spirit of disobedience. Roho ya kutoti. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't allow Usikubali. the spirit of unbelief Roho ya and of disobedient to operate in your life. Na kutoti ifanya kazi maishani mwako. The second spiritual lesson Funzo ya pili ya kiroho, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. is that Gilgal is a place of remembrance. Kwa Gilgali ni mahali pa kukumbukwa. Gilgal is a place of remembrance. Gilgali mahali pa kukumbushwa ama kukumbukwa. After the generation had doubted God perished in the wilderness. God allowed the remnants. Mungu alikubali masalio wama walio bati. The people who believed God. Watu mbao waliamini Mungu. And I want to thank God. Nataka shukuru Mungu. That this morning I have a people. Kwa asubuhi leo niko na watu. Who believe God. Ambao wanaamini Mungu. I have a people. Niko na watu. Who focus on God. Ambao utazamia Mungu. And my prayer is that you may have a heart that focuses on God. The Bible tells me that God allowed the children of Israel by his grace Amen. Amen. to cross flooded Jordan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when they were crossing, they took 12 stones to remind them what God did. Can we go to Joshua 14? And verse 19. The Bible says, now the people came, uh, came up from Jordan on the 10th day of the first month Siku ya, ya, ya kumi mwezi. And they camped in Gilgal. Na wakapiga kambi Gilgal. On the east border of Jericho. Katika uh, uh, kuskazini ya Jericho. Listen to this. Sikiza hii. Amen. Amen. So as soon as the children of Israel crossed Jordan. Wana wa Israel walipo yuka, yuka Jordan. They entered Canaan. Walingia Canaan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But though in, though in Canaan, na hata kuwa kanani, but they had not overcome. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Where they were, walikuwa, they were about two kilometers walikuwa kama kilometer mbili, to the Jericho walls. Kwa yikuta za Jericho. 
In other words, mengine, they were seeing their hindrance. They were seeing their challenges. They, are, they were seeing their roadblocks. Some of us this morning, leo, you want to do something, but you can see something blocking you. You want to go somewhere, but you can see a blockage. There are limitations. I am here to tell you, it is not about you, it is about Jesus Christ, who is in you and who is in us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Two kilometers to the gates to go and possess the land. Because they, before they possessed the whole land, there were enemies. There were gates. There were limitations. This was predicted even before they started the journey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. But I, let us continue. And those 12 stones which they took out of Jordan, Joshua set up in Gilgal. Then he spoke to the children of Israel saying, When your children ask their fathers in time to come, saying what are these stones then you shall let your children know saying Israel crossed over this Jordan on a dry land for the Lord your God dried up the waters of Jordan before you until you had crossed over. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In other words, they were preserving a testimony. This was a testimony. And they, are, they were saying, when a testimony, when God do something in your life, don't just keep quiet. Tell others of what has happened. So that people may know that our God is well able. Hallelujah. And therefore they were saying, we are carrying 12 of stones. And Joshua will go and set them up at Gilgal. And this will become a remembrance. It will remind them about how God made a way where there is no way. And it is not only themselves, but even the children, the children of their children to the church of today. Now we have a testimony that they crossed the Jordan on a dry land, though it was flooded. I decree in the name of Jesus, in a flood on your way, in a flooding Jordan, in the name of Jesus, God is giving you a testimony and that testimony you will testify yourself and also your children will testify about that. Your family will testify of what God has done because my God is well able Amen. Hallelujah. And when God does something, don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. You are not glorifying God. Tell others. This is what the Lord has done. Last Sunday we gave you a, 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 you know, gave you a testimony. My wife gave a testimony. Hallelujah. Of how we were stranded financially. And we wanted to go somewhere. For a barrio. Hallelujah. Of my niche. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. And God miraculously, when we had nothing, He gave us money to go and give toward the funeral contribution enough money to take a flight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Going to Kisumu and back. And that is not enough. When we reached Kisumu. We had to hire a car. The whole day. To take us where to Bondo. And coming back. And then back to the airport. Back to Nairobi. Praise the name of the living God. We had nothing in our hand. We had nothing. But we did not focus on the problem. We focused on God. Who is well able. 
to do miracles. I am here to testify not only what he has done to you, but also what he has done to us. Praise the name of the living God. Because our God is well able. Hallelujah. So keep on trusting God. Hallelujah. So the Bible says, 12 stones were to remind, to remind them and generation of what God has done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So remember Kumbuka. to trust God Kwa mini mungu. for a miracle. Kwa and when that miracle takes place, remember Kumbuka. to testify Kushudia. and glorify God in everything. Na mungu kwa yote. You know it is very easy sana. to succeed in life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it's also very easy Raisi pia you know, at times, you know, what I was trying to say, it is uh, when people succeed in life, what it is very easy to forget where they came from. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, some of you wengine wenye, and some of us na wengine wetu, were born as nobodies. Walizaliwa kama, uh, akuna chichote. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at where you were. Angalia mali ulipo. Some years back. Miaka, just, just, just close your eyes and see where you are 20 years ago 30 years ago for those who are older 40 years ago or even 60 years ago hallelujah where were you and where are you now? Can you remember? Can you see how, how far the Lord has taken care of you? Sometimes we see only the problems. Sometimes we see only the challenges. We talk about all what is happening in our lives. But we forget what the Lord has done in our lives. Humble yourself. And continue serving God in season and out of season. As you remember where he took you from. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isaiah 51 verse 1 says. Listen to me. You who follow after righteousness. You who seek the Lord. He is saying listen to me. You believers. You believers. Who follow after righteousness. You who seek the Lord. Look to the rock. From which you are hewn. Amen. Angalia muamba. Amen. Amen. When you look at a house, nyumba, and especially a beautiful house, nzuri, and you look at the rocks, mawe, they are well shaped. But those rocks mawe, were not the same way. Ayakuwa vile. Zirikuwa agre pale. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. But when they were hewn, chongwa, they were shaped. Chongwa, when you look at them, you really admire them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to tell Tell us, there is somewhere you came from and you, you are not the same way you are but by the grace of God you did not have a suit you did not have a nice dress but today you have a nice dress probably a car probably a house probably properties probably even a good shoe because there are times like me I walked for so many years without a shoe in my uh, without a shoe. Hallelujah. I walked for many years going to school with no shoes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But by the grace of God, where I am today, it is not about me. I give him all the glory. I give him all the glory. In the name of Jesus. Look at yourself. And say Jehovah. I remember. Where you brought me from. Amen. Look to the rock in which you are hewn. And to the whole pit from which you are dug. So remember where you are hewn from. And be totally sold out to God. Don't forget. Amen. Amen. Some of you are married. Are married. There's a time you are crying for a husband. Some of you are men. 
Wengine, uh, there are times you are really crying day and night. Give me the right partner. Hallelujah. Amen. And now when you see just few mistakes you know, with, your, with your wife. You start complaining. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Noah was given Noah was not given a, 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 a boat. Amen. Amen. But Noah was given measurements. And the materials. To make a boat. Therefore by the grace of God. Ladies and gentlemen who are married. You are there to make one another. And help one another. To become who you are. When you remember. Where you came from. Let's appreciate the Lord of Lords. The, the third Gilgal lesson. Is that. God heals the broken hearted and wounded in spirit. Mungu uponya walio vunjika mioyo na ambao wako na vidonda moyoni. God heals the sorry, God heals the heart broken. Mungu uponya walio vunjika mioyo. God heals the heart broken. Mungu uponya walio vunjika mioyo. And and the wounded in spirit. Na ambao ameumia kiroho. Some of you wengine wenyu to be honest. Kwa kusema kweli you are bleeding in your hearts because of what you are going through. Even right now as I speak. My prayer is before the end of this service the Lord will heal your heart. The Lord will heal your heart. Some of you have gone through pain You've gone through challenges. You've gone through so many questions. Why God? Why me? Why now? The Bible says in Joshua chapter 8. So Joshua 5 8. Listen to this. It's very, very key. Joshua 5 8. And after the whole nation had been circumcised. Can you listen to this? After they had been what? They had been circumcised. After all men were circumcised. They went through pain. They shed blood. But the Bible says. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They remained where they were in the camp. Walibaki mali walikuwa katika kambi until they were healed. Mpaka wakapona. They remained walibaki where they were. Mali walikuwa why most of the time kwa nini maana mingi people don't get healed. Watu hawaponi because they wander here and there. Maana utangatanga hapa na pale. For those who don't know because these are very serious issues. When boys get circumcised, they don't go here and there. They are positions in a particular place or a house. Because if you keep on moving here and there, it takes a long time to heal. They have to keep on going to the doctor. And remember these guys they did not go to the doctor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They went to Moses to, to Joshua. Joshua did not have a sterilized uh, uh, knife. He, he made a knife from a stone. Uh, hallelujah. Mm. A sharp knife. A kisu made of an, made from, from the stone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They went through painful they they, 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 they after circumcision tohara, and a painful experience. Na mambo magumu, the soldiers had to wait until they were healed. Wanajeshi walipaswa kungoja mpaka wapone. You're not getting me. Aunipati. After they were circumcised, kutairiwa, there were enemies who would have come and killed all of them because there is no way they would have fought the battle. But I thank God when they were wounded, God was covering them. 
May the Lord cover you with his presence. May the Lord cover you with his peace. May the Lord cover you with his grace. In the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. They could not proceed. To go and fight. And possess Canaan. Until they got healed. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Listen to this. Skiza hii. None of them akuna moja wao ran away from the camp. Amba alitoroka kwa kambi. They waited for healing. Walingoja uponyaji. We are in a church tuko kanisani or a generation ama kwa vizazi when someone is a heart mtu akiumia by a brother or a sister akiumizwa na dugu ama dada especially even in the church sana sana kanisani instead of remaining there but lakubaki pale telling the lord to heal you akiambia mungu ampone and reconcile you with your brother na akurejeshe someone runs to another church wengine anatoka kwenda kanisani and when you run there ukiingia pale you meet a crew even a worse person unapata na mtu mbaya zaidi that hurts you even more ambaye anakuumiza zaidi that make even some people to remain in the house ambao watu wanafanya and in the house you cannot be healed because already that wound is still fresh may the lord forgive us may the lord help us so the israeli went through pain and the process of healing i am here to tell us brothers and sisters as people of god and by the grace of god there are times god will allow us to go through pain there are times god will allow us to have wound kuna wakati Mungu atakubali tuwe na vidonda. Look at this. Angalia hii. Israelites. Wana wa Israeli, they are in Canaan. Wako Kanani? Yet wounded. Lakini wako na vidonda bado. You know Canaan? Unajua Kanani? Signifies the presence of God. Inaonyesha uwepo wa Mungu. They are there. Wako pale. But there are things they had to cut off. Like kuna mambo lazima wakate And because of that, sababu ya hiyo, they were wounded. Walikuwa na vidonda. They had to wait and until they get healed if you are here this morning if you are here online this morning if you are in church this morning listen good don't get out of this place don't allow this message be a waste to your life allow the lord to heal your wounds allow the lord to heal your wounds in the name of Jesus allow God to remove that pain oh my God it's so heavy in my heart Psalms 34 19 the Bible says the righteous person may have many troubles but the lord deliver him from them all praise the name of the living god amen so i want to tell us before we proceed on to our next level before we continue walking in the presence of god as you are in the presence of god ask god to heal you this morning hallelujah hallelujah you know there are times your heart broken and wounded if you remain that if you remain you know with with, with, with your broken heart or wounded spirit you cannot fight battles or build a foundation or even advance in the kingdom business you have you must evaluate your spiritual life and ask god to forgive you i repeat again this morning let us audit our life let's evaluate our spiritual life and get to know where we are paining 
where we are wounded. They could not live until they were healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have wounds of anger. Be healed in Jesus name. We have wound of bitterness. It is quite interesting. There are people who were wounded by people who died. And yet they don't even forgive the dead. May the Lord forgive you. Today is your day. So if you don't forgive, what do you want that person to do and he died? You will continue you will, you, with those wounds. Utenelea zile vidonda wound of bitterness. You just want to hold on bitterness. Today is the day. Let it go in Jesus name. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Evaluate your spiritual life and ask God. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. To heal your painful memories. You know they are painful memories that have made your heart bitter. And if you are here and you sinned against God, listen, I don't know why the Spirit of God is saying this. You may hear, you may be here, and you sinned against God. Yet you were born again. And you repented. God forgave, for God forgave you. All you need to do is not repeat again. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the Bible says. In Romans. Chapter 8 and verse 1. There is therefore no condemnation to them those who are in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will not condemn you. I will not condemn you. But God has forgiven you. Jesus said, Go and sin no more. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. 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 Sometimes we have wound of past failures. Are even sour relationships with our loved ones. Sour relationships with the marriage partners or spouses. Sour relationships with our children. Sour relationship with our friends. Be healed today in the name of Jesus. Allow God to heal your heart. To heal your heart. For the Bible says. In Psams 34. And verse 19. The Lord is close. To the broken hearted. And save those who are crushing spirit. There are some of you. Who have wounded because finances are not coming by. To be sure, there are people who even who have wounded people. Mm. You know, you, you, you go to you, you, you are in the same church. But you become Unakua. Hallelujah. Kira wakati unabeba nyundo. Huh? A brother, a sister with a hammer to wound people. Hallelujah. Amen. Na kaka wa ndugu mnaendelea na gani? Shame on you. May the Lord forgive you. Repent. Because that soul is wounding. Or that soul is wounded. And when that soul is wounded and is crying unto the Lord. What will God do to you? May the Lord forbid. He heals the broken hearted. And saves those who are crushing his spirit. May you be healed now in Jesus name. Psalms 147.3 He heals the broken hearted. And binds up their wounds. God binds up our wounds. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Finally, the, the fourth spiritual lesson from Gilgal 
is God rolls away all your sins and shame. Mungu ubigirisha ama uondoa dhambi zako na aibu zote. Amen. Amen. God rolls away. Mungu ubigirisha na kuondoa all your sins and shame. Dhambi zako na aibu zako. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Joshua 5:9. Yoshua 5:9. You can read for us. Za tusomea. Oh, inasema, then Lord said to Joshua, today I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from you. So so the place has been called Gilgal to this day. Then the Lord said to Joshua, Today I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from you. So the place has been called Gilgal to this day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then the Lord said to Joshua, Joshua No tomorrow. Sio kesho. Where there is name Joshua. Put your name there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put your name there today. Put your name there today. Even you. Or even you. Put your name there today. Then the, it is not Kaberere. It is not Bishop. It is not your brother. It is not your wife. But the Bible says. The Lord said to Joshua. And the same God is speaking to you. And he says. Today. Leo, I have rolled away the shame of Egypt from you. Kwako. So the place was called Golgal to this day. And Gilgal means rolling away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. In other words, the men of Egypt allowed Joshua Hallelujah. Hallelujah. to Cut their private parts and separate them from the world. Allow God and the servant of God speaking this morning to operate your heart in the name of Jesus. You remember last Sunday but one either last Sunday or last Sunday but one I was speaking about spiritual circumcision and I spoke about the, the, the circumcision of the heart circumcision of our, of our mouth circumcision of our eyes praise the name of the living God there are many areas that we must be circumcised how do you talk to your fellow believers here. How do you talk to your workmate there? Be circumcised. Hallelujah. Amen. They allowed properly. They bleeded. It is not easy. Even when you are sitting down now, some of you are feeling pain. But that pain is to heal you and take you to another level. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Jericho was a place of rolling away all their sins and shames. Praise the name of the living God. So the battle of Jericho, the battles of Jericho, and possession of Canaan was dependent on what happened in, J in Gilgal. I repeat again. The battles of Jericho. You know now we are going to Jericho. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. What happened at Jericho what happened in future was dependent on what happened at Gilgal. In other words, as I preach this morning, the message that you'll take home will determine your next level. You'll determine where you will go. Can you appreciate the Lord of Lords? Will determine your next breakthrough. Will determine your healing. Will determine the next possession. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. To move to the next level. Let what has troubled what has troubled you. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Be Lord away. As you move to greatness. I repeat it again. This morning. What has troubled you so much. In the name of Jesus. May it be rolled away. As you move to your greatness. In Jesus name. May the Lord roll all your past failures. 
Amen. Anything that has oppressed you, that has pained you, may it be rolled away today in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord roll away all your sin, your guilt and shame. Oh God, my Father, I pray Jehovah that you may forgive each and every one Jehovah. It is our prayer, oh God, that you may roll away every guilt, every shame has come in the lives of your people. May it be rolled away to the glory of your holy name. In the name of Jesus, let's appreciate the Lord of Lords. May let the Lord roll away the spirit of unbelief in the name of Jesus and lack of faith in God. You should be telling God, let it be rolled away. The spirit of unbelief heart, you know, pain and heartbreak. You know, pain Machungu. and heartbreaks. May the Lord roll, roll them away. And let anything Na that has made you to stagnate in this life, haya, anything chochote. that has made you to stagnate spiritually, Kiroho. emotionally, Kimawazo. physically, Kiasili. be rolled away. Yodolewe. For our God is well able. In the name of Jesus. Why? Kwanini? Because Gilgal point us to Jesus Christ who is able to roll all away all our problems. Remember what God has done and what he can do in your life. May you repent and totally surrender to God. Allow God this morning to heal your heart broken heart and even your wounded spirit in the name of Jesus. So it is the time to ask God to roll away our sins and shame. Let's all stand up in Jesus' name. Anything that has troubled you in your life. Tell Jehovah, I surrender it all to you. I know, I, you know, God gave me this word so heavily. During Kesha, as we were during, as we were, I think it was an overnight Kesha in 2023. And I spoke about God rolling away every shame. If you are not in that Kesha, or probably you are in that you are in that Kesha, but still there are things that you need rolled out, being rolled away. Just shoot your hands up and ask God just to help you. Oh God. Just ask God. Remember where you came from. In the name of Jesus. If there is a spirit of unbelief. Tell Lord. I repent. Oh God. I repent. In the name of Jesus. Remember where you came from. For with God all things are possible. Every pain. That you have been going through. Allow God. To help you so that you can eradicate it in the name of Jesus. We worship you. Just go before God. Just go before God. Tell God something. Tell God something. Tell God something. When Joshua said it is time for circumcision. It is people who came where Joshua was and they sat down and they were operated on. Right now, just go before God. Tell God, Jesus, help me by your grace. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. We glorify your name, Jehovah. We worship you, Jesus. We give you praise and glory. In the name of Jesus. In that mood of prayer, I want to pray for someone you can put down your hands as our eyes are closed. There's someone who is going through pain, heartbroken, you are wounded. Sometimes even you have forgotten probably where God brought you from. 
But you want to repent. There is a niche that you want the Lord to roll away. Probably sin or probably even shame because you have gone through so many things to the next time the people want are laughing, laughing at you. God is with us today. This if you are there as I pray and you have a need or a prayer just raise up your hand as I pray. Those who are heartbroken, wounded in the spirit, heartbroken. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for your grace and mercy. Behold all the hands that are raised up, Jehovah. It is my prayer, O oh God, that you may heal them, that you may touch them, Jehovah. Oh God, help them to remember that this far you are their Ebenezer. It is my prayer, Jehovah. My God, there are those who are heartbroken. They are bleeding their hearts because of situations in life. Father, it is my prayer that you may touch their hearts, that you may touch their lives. Oh God, I pray deliverance by your own grace. Heal them and deliver them. If there is one that is sick, you have saved by the stripes of Jesus. We are made whole. I decree you are whole. Any kind of sickness, you are delivered now. Sickness is gone. In Jesus' name, if there is one who has been going through challenges, you have not been peace of mind or heart. I decree peace of God over your life. And any shame that you have gone through, Jehovah has rolled it away. And from today, I decree in this church, as in the, even to the individuals, to the families, to the ministry, to every sphere of our lives, every shame is rolled away in the name of Jesus and Jesus has taken over Jesus has taken over Jesus has given you victory Jesus has given us victory Jesus has given us victory, given us victory. Given us victory. your family will never be ashamed again in the name of Jesus you will not go through shame again for God has delivered you and what you have been waiting for the Lord has provided for with him all things are possible in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit in Jesus name we pray can we say amen can we appreciate the Lord of Lord can we sing unto the Lord can we appreciate the Lord that we are free that we are free that we are free and anything the shame is run away our shames are run away in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Rakaba Shatara Mama Shandara Babo Rika Yandere Mama Sekere Babo Rika Yandere Mama Sekere Babo Rika Yantara Mama Shandere Babo Rika Yantara Mama Shandere Babo We thank you Master Lord We give you praise and glory in Jesus name we pray can you look at your neighbor tell him or her it is done it is done it's rolled away the Lord has spoken hallelujah you will see it in Jesus name amen